I got this new Ian Rush car from the market. So let's, let's check it out. His stats look good. 124 shooting, 110 pace, 113 agility, 62 defending, 93 passing and 104 physical. Except for one thing, his skill moves. He has three star skill moves which I'm a bit worried about but they might just be a lie. Anyway, he has good stamina. Four star weak foot. That's good. And then more stats. Then let's check him out. So in that, we saw that why his skill uh, moves are only 3 star. If we go to the training, we might be able to check it out even further. Okay, so let's go against PSG. Tense battle so far, and now the second half is underway. Come and help me. Can he put them in front? Oh, incredible save, and he snuffed out any sign of danger. Verratti. Jorginho Wijnaldum couldn't keep it but it lead to the goal that puts them ahead it's opened up for him and he clears it out of harm's way so a corner kick it'll be following the deflection Matip Ian Rush can he put it away It's got to be. 
Because if you look closely, you can see that hey, when he does a screw with it, delays a bit. If you look carefully, his heading is really good though. See, I pressed it, but I will do it for like about a second and I left the rest until Ramos. It's actually pretty fast. Yeah, he's actually kind of good at the same time. Much to the sheer delight of the fans. Well, let's take another look at that goal, shall we? Three goals without reply. Only ten minutes remaining here. And the Liverpool throw in forthcoming. Key. Ian Rush. Ian Rush. And the referee is going to add on four added minutes. Lionel Messi. He made it look simple, really. So at times, in this, Ian Rush. he's good. His screws are good. At other times, I love it. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans are leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. After I press it, five seconds, run about five seconds after I press it. It comes up with it. It comes up. Performs. Let's see what he's like on auto. Let's go manager mode. So. has promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got I'm Derek Ray and joining me for commentary is the former okay, Arsenal defender have to go to Lee Dixon the team. and everyone here on Tenterhooks you'd have to say so this with team good is reason it is not a bad apart from Boya yeah. Manchester United so let's yeah, use thanks, control Derek. should be a good game this one I always wanted to start the game on the front foot fast play force the opposition to respond hopefully we get that from the start of this match away patiently looking for an opening danger of okay so he just about missed that is it
Otherwise, I'm not sure what happened. He doesn't seem to be too involved in the game. But then again, it's only been 15 minutes. Can he put them in front? And he clears it out of harm's way. He's still not being involved. Pogba has options. Pogba has options. Doesn't get away with it. Free kick given. Okay. Antonio. Giving it a try. Straight down the throat of Neuer. Frankowski. Let's check his stats. Oh, he's six point more, no? That's good. That's six point one. Oh, Pogba. Plenty of options. Well, nothing productive, really. But he did what he. And so it is. The first half story has been written. With the club secretary, please note Mr. Moon has left the building. Will you become more involved in this second the half? Have switched around. Manchester United kicking off the second half here. It's barely when you touch of the ball. Anyways, let's try. That was actually a good header. He seems to have very good headers. Actually, one of his traits is power header. Another is finesse shot, and the other one, the final one, is outside foot shot. He score a hat trick. Antonio, Ian Rush, Danny Olmo, able to close down the shot. Oh, could it be Antonio? Good cross. Giving his team precisely what they were looking for. Now he deserves to. If you see it, this cross. Well, it's good build up with this. He could have passed it to Keane. But he had a worse chance of scoring, there. even though it was an oh, easy cross. Let's see what his, the stats are. Timo well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Seven point nine. So far, he's man of the match. Good cross it in here. Well, good cross. Okay. Another good cross. We have entered the final minute of normal time. The referee blows for full time. It ends in a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. Yeah, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for most of the game. And going forward, there was some really lovely play too. Good result that was. Okay, Ian Rush is man of actually six nine point five. That's high. Oh. Anyways. He did quite well. Let's see. Now for the second part. Tropical Tour F2P Guide. So if you haven't checked out Tropical Tour yet, then 
it's basically an event where you need to try and collect shells and fishing lure they can get good players like for example tapia and also with some luck you can get Mendy, Coutinho, Correa, Ronaldo, Foyce and Be or Becca so as an for F2P you can get 92 rated Sansu Sanusi he has good defending and good pace for his overall you could also get Alvarez FTP he has good defending but he only has two style skill moves I didn't see what his school move was well. Two stars well no, they're not really that good for school move. Anyways you can get Pepe with a really good pace, good shooting, good passing and good agility. He has a three star weak foot and four star skill moves. Four star. That's good. Burger. Four star skill moves again, three star weak foot, a hundred and three pace, hundred and three agility, ninety six shooting, ninety two passing. So if you had an option between these two, I would go with Bogger and over here I would go for Sanusi. Then again that's my opinion. And then you can get for FDP again ninety six overall Jimenez. For has good defending, but two star skill moves only. It's pretty bad for a 96 overall. And then Bobby Firmino, five star skill moves, four star weak foot, good shooting, good passing, good pace, and good agility. However, Edison is not F2P. But if you were, but he is actually kind of cheap. In fact, why he's the cheapest? Goal, one of the cheapest goalkeeper, good goalkeepers. Let's see. Okay, so Casillas is the cheapest for ninety ninety six rated, but he's he's only five mil, and then there's Navas. Who you would have gotten on the first day if you played Porto, and then Robanski, Mendy, Edison, then has a hundred twelve kicking, a hundred and six reflex, ninety three physical, ninety nine handling, a hundred nine positioning, goal, one hundred five goalkeeper diving. However, if you had to. If you had enough money to buy him, then I'll uh, buy Navas instead because he has a bit better stats. I mean, no, the other way, sorry. And then also, you could get. Fabinho from this, however he's not F2P, apart from with some luck, but you can easily reach this, milestone, then, let's see, this would be the best option if you want to get a catch of the day, but if you want to get Fabinho, or go further in the milestones, then shallow waters is better. So I'm just going to keep on 
opening until I have two left. Then you can do this to get more fishing lures. You need four crows for one fishing lure. Then as you progress in this, 100k. Old player. I'm gonna try and get Fabinho and then I'll do a review on him but I'm not sure if that'd be possible. Anyways, I'll continue with that later. And now time for the one that most of you have been waiting for. The flight path the flight path. F two P. So, they've changed the 99 overall from Peter uh, set to Lull Drop. Does he have good stats? 107 shooting, 107 passing, 101 pace, 109 agility, 46 defending and 77 physical. He's quite good. But that's what you would expect from a 99 rated. Anyways, these. Marcus Alonso is F2P. And so is Campbell. So two, both of them, are F2P. Then so is Aspi Laqueta. But for Aspi Laqueta, you need to exchange both of them. Over here. But as be Laqueta isn't that good, so I would only suggest getting him if you're a Chelsea fan. Then moving on. Both of the 96s are F2P and you can get them both. Then you can exchange him to get Oyozable, who's actually kind of good. Then you can only get one. 97 for the rest you could get for example 296s 295s and then one 296s and then one but over here you can only get nine one ninety seven rated player so if you decide to for example go for Canate then you won't be able to get Lamar or Hummels and also None of these ones are F2P. But then you can also just get a base summer pack. Which will give you 25 base summers. So it might, with some luck, it might give you all of these players. So then you have a pretty high chance of getting a 44, of getting a Summer Vacation Europe player. And if you look, yeah. But I wouldn't really suggest going for that. Because if you do get one, it might be a very low rated one, like... Oh, PK. Like... Summer. Or... Vallejo or Jovetic or Braithwaite or Bartomeu so then you'll probably have somebody who you don't want on your team so I just suggest going for Campbell and Marcos Alonso and then you can Gaspi Laqueta or D3 
or one of these two. So that sums it up. Have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video.